Hi, Mr. Jack. Welcome back to my channel. We're talking about Tunnel Server and the reasons why I actually go down the route of Tunnel Server all the time. And when customers said to me, you know, how, how can we consolidate our users? How can we make it much more easy on IT, resources, uh, money, um, time, and all that sort of stuff? Then Tunnel Server is always the route to go. I mean, I've been running Tunnel Server for many, many years, and most of my clients I had also was running Tunnel Server either installed by myself or currently already had it and I adopted it when I took on support for them. And I always will always recommend it because it is time can time can saving. So let's have a look at what, what do I mean by time saving. So you've got 25 users, that's 25 users, 25 PCs. One server, run internal server with 25 users on it, it's one bit of hardware to maintain. When it comes to software install, you can install it 25 times on, on a physical PC. On a terminal server, you can install it once. It's upgraded for all users. Um, rolling out software is easy. Install it once on the terminal server, 20 time, 25 times on a PC. Um, remember, when it comes to win updating Windows and also updating all those um, apps, that you, all those software you run on your desktops as well, is you've got to do it 25 times. Not only that, you've got to, there's a lot of maintaining by 25 uh, licenses for antivirus for those machines. So where you make a saving on terminal support, well, it's it's a bit it's a, it's a bit uh, taking one and putting the other when you when it comes to uh, money wise because running a terminal service it means one physical server. Say so that's that do for most users up to twenty five users even up to sixty users it's still able to work with that. Then you can go to like low balancing situations with terminal server. We're talking about another day anyway. But um, now. Um, you only install, install um, the software once on a terminal server. Okay, so you need, so when you're running like Office, yes, you need Office licenses and stuff like that. But obviously, you spend all your money on a real fast server. So you need to make sure it's got lots of cores. The more cores, the more user supports. The more RAM you have, the more um, users it supports as well. A good, good thing about the terminal server is it, it takes all the resources. So if you've got like, say, if you've got half your users running Outlook. And then you've got the other half of users running Outlook, Word, Excel. They'll get more resources on the server. The server will balance out nicely for those. Um, so, because uh, when you have 25 PCs and they're all running the same spec, then you might have a few Office users using Outlook and Word, and that's it. It'd be a waste of a PC for them. That, um, then they don't have to worry about what type of PC do I need to buy for my users. This user only uses Outlook and Office. This user uses this and the database and such and such. Then you look at it, different versions, different hardware versions. For when it comes to buying to do an upgrade, then you got to worry all that again. With terminal server, you have to. They're all in one place, and again, it's only one server that needs to purchase and buy. Now, on the Office licensing side, yes, you still have to purchase a, a Office user per user, but you don't necessarily need to purchase all 25 for your users. So, if you think about it, when you look at the office and you go in, come in the office in the days, and you look at all the all people working there, you can see some will be off sick, some might be out on the field um, doing sales calls, uh, and you might have like half your users in most of the week uh, in the office. So that basically means you don't have to purchase 25 users licenses. It'd be very rare where there'd be a time where all 25 are actually in the office because you've got a sales team, you want them out there making those calls, you want them out there visiting their clients, making money for you. So they won't always be in the office at the same time. Um, so you can get away with not spending for 25 year licenses on Office, um, the server, the tunnel server licenses, as well as other products you need to license on there as well. Now with the Enterprise software, you only need to install it once on the tunnel server, you only need one license, server license for it, that's it. You save yourself you save yourself 25 times what we normally purchase. What's an average purchase of an Enterprise product? About £30? So 20 times 30 that's the saving you'll be making. You only need to buy the server version anyway on the server, so it's nice and easy. So you make you make savings that way as well. Not only that, you save a lot of time, a lot, a lot of time. The time saving is installing the software. You only install it once, not twenty-five times. Running those updates, so you do it, do it once, uh, not twenty-five times. So there's those sort of balances out. It makes things much more easier. You can run lots of lots of applications on the terminal server. You can just sign which users. Will fit those apps, um, which can be quite easy under um, users' um, access and rights and stuff. We'll get into that a bit more later date on advanced stuff. So it's much more easy to manage that way. If you need to load balance your users, um, you can buy additional term of server and you can load balance it. You don't have to buy additional licenses because you can put all the license in the pool and both servers can access that pool or licenses 
you can have a third terminal server if you wanted and load balance across three terminal servers. Again, don't need to buy additional licenses because they will work from the same pool of licenses. So you can still run less than 25 licenses. Um, the benefits of running terminal server is you can be access it from anywhere, whether you're in the office, at home, on holiday, the other side of the world. Um, you know, you can access apps anywhere for any device, any um, tablet, um, whether it's Mac, uh, whether it's Samsung tablets, uh, whether it's um, a Windows um, tablet, a mobile phone you can access from. Just download the WinApp on the iOS store. You can download the um, Microsoft Remote Desktop for the Mac. Works perfectly over that. Um, printing is easier because it maps your local printer to your session. So again, you can print directly from home if you wanted to. You can actually manage printers remotely, so you don't want everyone printing personal information off at home. So you can actually block that from um, happening as well on that side. So there's lots of things you can implement as well. So it makes it much more easier to, for your users to roam around. And then the other thing is in the office, if you've got 25 PCs in the office, low spec PCs, they'll work with Terminal Server 2 because you won't need to put the apps on there anymore. Just load a remote desktop on there, connect into it. Then you can then do hot desk in the office so no one have a specific desk. Or if you bring in a team of people on a very temporary basis, maybe you have new startups, uh, you might have uh, you know uh, colleagues that work for another office, come to this office. You can actually hot desk between offices as well, which makes it fantastic. Um, piece, piece of stuff to own, you know, piece of hardware to have, you know, term of server, software and hardware, you know. Um, so for remote users, um, hot desking, all that sort of stuff, terminal server is the best product to go for. And that way you don't have to worry about what PC spec do I buy for my users. You just buy one PC spec. You can buy a thin client, um, looks really like a small very box, much more thinner, screen and mouse and keyboard on the desk, job done. And they, they don't run any operating systems apart from running the remote desktop connection for your server. Or you can buy a very low spec PC, really low spec PC, cheap as possible, because you only be running the remote desktop on there, um, straightforward. And you don't have to ma have any software running on it apart from the basic Windows. That's all you need. So it makes it easy um, rebuilding machines and wiping them much more cleaner and, um, and quicker as well. Um, or you can just roll out on laptops. Or people can bring their home laptops in if you want to save money. If you really want to be tight, you can say to all your home users, uh, if you st when you start job, your work job here, make sure you have your own laptop you can bring in and use. They get them to use that. They're using the remote desktop connections. There'll be no software to be installed on their PC. That's what makes about good about remote users because a lot of remote users in the past that I used to work with used to always say to the office, we need a PC for home to work off that, not my home PC. Um, so with terminal server, you can actually run it off your home PC because it won't interfere with your home PC in any way, shape or form because there's no additional software you need to load. It's always there on the Windows environment. If it's a Mac, you just download one little app on there, nice and easy. That way you can use your home PC for work and home at the same time. And it's very secure as well. So that's my options, uh, or my sort of views of Terminal Server and why I still use it today. I, I still use today. Behind me here, you can see there, is on, just on top of that, that's my Terminal Server. I connect it remotely, so I can access all my network um, remotely as well as have my own remote desktop. And I actually run my remote desktop off my phone as well. And also got a tablet that I run the Winout app on, which allows me to connect back to my desktop. It's brilliant. So yeah, so if I'm actually trying to sell this to you guys, I should be practicing what I preach, which I do. So yeah, it's fantastic. Any questions you've got on Terminal Server, uh, if you want to implement it at your office, um, whether you're in the UK or abroad, you want to know more about it, how the ways are going about it. Whether you want to hire my consultancy chat fees, um, or fees, hire my consultancy to help you out, to advise you, or even come do the install. Just let me know. Comment below. And remember to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.